think it's a pretty awesome event. I think it's pretty, pretty incredible that all these people can just come together and like everyone's just meeting each other and everyone's so stoked on it, you know. And uh, seeing all the boards is like incredible. I've never seen this many boards of like alternative craft in one place, you know. Like it's just you look around and it's like these are the boards that you dream about, you know. Like yeah. same as with the the museum last night. It's uh it's incredible. And I, I always kind of thought, I mean, a lot of people told me that Australia was really performance oriented and uh, there were a lot of people here surfing high performance boards, but now I feel a little bit differently, you know, to see all this alternative craft and I think it's awesome. I love it. I mean, I've been to one now, the California ones, and one in Japan and one here, and it's just really cool to see the, it's always a good showcase of, uh, of like the continent, of the continental styles, I guess would be, I'm trying to figure out the best way to put it, but uh, you know, everyone's got their own small community of styles of surfboards and it's cool to see it all showcased in kind of one place and to be able to see it on different continents and this is a, it's a really, really cool experience. I've had a really amazing time. Cool. Uh, couldn't be much happier. I mainly make them more the skip fry style fishes yep. um, and some other progressive fish designs. And even some finless. Yeah, and finless fishes as well. Yeah. yeah. So I think, you know, the Definitely the fish fry seems to uh, attract the innovative shapers and, uh, and especially this year the young guys that are having to go themselves so it's, uh, it's sort of I think turned a corner and people ask you know what's going to happen to hand shaping and it's guys like this that are picking it up and running with it and it's great to see. Yeah for sure. Good on you. Thanks mate. So Jesse you've been to, to a few fish fries, uh, what's happening for you this year? Uh, just more of the same really I guess, it's um, things are starting to really pick up since I suppose a lot of the exposure has come from the fish fry but um, the Mini Simmons particularly like these sort of boards I'm doing a lot, <laughs> a lot of, I'm doing at the moment probably between 5 and 10 a week sometimes. That's cool. Um, yes and it's, it's, it's guys, like I was just talking with Ryan Lovelace and it's, he was saying you know a lot of guys now are getting into the tints and the polishes and the, you're not seeing here today a lot of performance orientated boards like you know coming from the short board sort of end of the spectrum and it's people getting back to handmade product.